Hi, it's Chester Topola of Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this Excel video tutorial we're looking at how you ask two different questions. The first is, is a value greater than another value? And the second is, is a value less than another value? So, the first thing you need to know is about these comparison operators. So I've written them down here for you. So the first one is greater than, the second one is less than. And you can combine these with the equal sign to create greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Now, please note the way I've written these. The equal sign is always after the comparison operator, not the other way around. If you put them the other way around, they're just not gonna work. Now let's look at our scenario. What we've got here is we've got a sales target and we've got a kind of minimum value that the salesperson is meant to achieve, a minimum value. Below that, they're in trouble. Okay, so here are the sales values that have been achieved by each of our salespeople. And in this column, we're gonna ask the question, has the salesperson met sales target. In this one we're going to say is the sales value below the minimum they must achieve. Okay let's get going. So we'll start in this cell here and we're going to start with a simple logical test. We're going to say is Bob's sales value greater than the sales target? So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press enter and it says true because this value is greater than the sales target. Now, what if I put in, say, 40,000? You see, I get a false because it's below the sales target. What if, what if I put in 50,000? It still says false because although they've met the sales target, our test is saying, is the sales value greater than the sales target? So really, I should have a true here. So the way I get a true is just to stick an equal sign in there after the greater than comparison operator. And now I get a true. Now, although that true result does tell us what we want to know, often you want another value uh, in place of true and another value in place of false. So you might want to say yes rather than true and maybe no rather than false. Now, the way to convert true and false is to other values is to use an if statement. So what you do is you put if in front of your logical test, if open bracket, but the first argument within the if statement is your logical test, which we already have, and then you put a comma in, and then you have to state your value if true. So for true, we want to say yes, comma, and then you have to state your value of false. So for false, we want no, not no, <laughs> we want no. And then I close the bracket. Now, if you press enter, there we are, I get my yes. Okay, so I want to be able to copy this formula down the rest of these rows, and I need to make one small change before I do that. And the small change is down to this cell reference here. Now, this refers to our sales target, G1. And if I copy this formula down, that G1 reference will change to G2, then G3, then G4 we don't want it to do that. We want it to stay the same. Now, the way to lock it is to make it an absolute reference. And the easiest way to do that is to click into the cell reference. So you've got a flashing cursor, and then press the F4 key at the top of your keyboard. Now, if your F4 key doesn't work in that way, you could try holding down the Fn key, say on a laptop, and press F4 at the same time. Or, if failing that, just type the dollars in and it'll still work. Right, so I'm going to press enter, copy this down, and you can see that I get my yeses and noes for the appropriate rows. Now, let's try this one. So, I want to find out whether they've achieved the minimum, the minimum sales value. So, again, I'm going to start with my logical test. I'm going to say, is this value less than 
less than what must be achieved. I'm asking the question, is it below the minimum? So I don't need an equals. So 25,000, that would be acceptable. Below it, that's a problem. So I get a false for this one. Now I want to put it in an if statement. So there we are, there's if, open bracket. And then my value of true will be a yes. My value of false will be a no. And probably you're thinking, if I copy this down, I'm going to need to fix this reference, just as we did over here, for our G1 reference. We've got to do the same for G2. So click into that reference and press F4. You can type the dollars in. Browse enter. Copy this down. And you'll see that this one is below the minimum. So Ben's in trouble. And this one here is also below the minimum. So Barry's in trouble. So there we are, two examples, one that uses the greater than comparison operator and one that uses the less than operator. That's all this video is going to cover. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe so you can be notified when our next Excel Tips and Tricks video has been published. Thanks very much for listening.